Hello friends, the time has come. My final declutter in my entire declutter series. I have gone through every single category in my makeup collection and decluttered it and we have come to the finale. And this is my lipsticks. So I've already done my liquid lipsticks, my lip liners, and my lip glosses. So this is like my bullet lipsticks, cream, satin, bullet matte, we, there's a lot of lipsticks in this pile and I'm looking at it and I'm feeling pretty intimidated But I am so ready to take this on this is necessary. This is needed and I'm excited to do this with you So I will definitely link my declutter playlist down below if you love declutters I've had one every single week for the past several months now and I'm excited to finish it off with you So I have been doing this declutter series um, by brand um, like especially for my lip products So I'm gonna go ahead and divide everything by brand and then as we go along if I see some that might be similar in shade to others I'll swatch against each other kind of like how I did in my liquid lips uh, but dividing it by brand just kind of helps me because there's a lot here so it just kind of helps me visually get started so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first So here is a little overview, Charlotte Tilbury, MAC, ColourPop, Milk Makeup, I see some Tarte in here, Pat McGrath, Urban Decay, El Maquillage. All right, so this is where we are going to get started. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Jumping in, first off, I see one of my newer lipsticks. This is from Lawless Beauty. So this is one of their newer formulas. This is their, um, like their satin lipstick. I can't think of their exact name off the top of my head, but this is the shade Fawn. I love the Lawless liquid lipsticks. I think I kept all of my shades in my liquid lip declutter. I like the liquid lips more than I like this one. Um, I thought the formula was fine to me. I actually think it's a little bit more matte than it is satin which i'm fairly confident is in the name but i like more matte lips so i appreciated that and the color is really pretty but um not a favorite i didn't think it stayed on my lips really well like i kind of had to constantly reapply but i still do like it um it's my only of this one from lawless beauty and it is a little bit newer to me so i'm going to keep that one okay uh, next up, I see this one from Revlon, and this is in the shade Audacious Mauve, and I, I don't even really, honestly, like, remember having this. Um, okay, so, yeah, that one is a bit more of, like, a pinky mauve. Um, I, like, like I said, honestly, I don't even remember really having this in my collection, which happens, which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, just like with my other declutters, I'm going to really try to do my best at this because I definitely have my lipsticks that I go to time and time and time again. So I'm going to declutter that one from Revlon. All right, next up, let's see. I have this one from Too Faced, and this is the, oh yes, how could I forget? This is the Sex on the Peach lipstick. Ah, uh, if you remember the infamous story that I have told on my channel about being at a nail salon. Obviously, this was a while ago. Um, ob obvious, let, no, no comments about nails, okay? None. Zero, mm -mm, not happening. Um, but I was at a nail salon and the gal doing my nails asked me what was on my lips and I was like, oh, it's from Too Faced. And then she made me say the name and other people overheard me. They start laughing. It was very embarrassing. Thank you, Too Faced. Really appreciate that. But this is Sex on the Peach and something about this shade. I've had it for such a long time. I think it came in like a lip collection set, like one of the Sephora favorite lips whatever you know what I'm saying and I just something about it I like it so much it definitely has a very strong scent which can be a little bit off-putting but that shade and I don't know the packaging like it's just it's so beautiful that I haven't been able to get rid of it and I still want to keep it please don't make fun of me but I still want to keep it so gonna hang on to that one uh next up I see this one from Laura Geller and this is in the shade vanilla so it looks like so. This is another one that I don't wear super often. This one is a little bit more of like that shiny satiny, which isn't my personal favorite. Uh, so I'm going to declutter that one from Laura Geller. Next up, I see this one from Givenchy. And let me see, there's something like magical about this. It took me forever to remember you have to like squeeze the bottom and then pull it out. <laughs> wow. 
excellent. This one is in the shade Mandarin, so obviously a very different shade, but this one is, you know, like your Mandarin orange. It's actually really beautiful. Obviously, I don't wear a lot like this. You're going to see a lot of nudes in this collection. I'm going to keep a lot of nudes, uh, but something about this shade I think is gorgeous. I know I had a liquid lip that I kept that was similar from ColourPop, and something about this, I don't think I really have a lot of other kind of straight oranges in my collection, and this shade is just so cool, so I continue to keep it around, especially sometimes in the warmer months, to have that like pop of orange super fun. So I'm still going to hang on to that one from Givenchy. Okay, I have this one here from CoverGirl, and this is one of their Demi Matte Lipsticks, and this is in Trending. I really like these lipsticks, and I think this is my only shade in it, but they're a really nice formula. I'm very impressed by it, and I really like the shade Trending. I think that it's a really nice, a darker nude. I like that these do pull a little bit more matte since that's what I'm a fan of. So I'm also going to keep this one from CoverGirl. Next up, I have one from Becca Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Mauve. This is like the ultimate love lipstick or something along those lines. I did review this on my channel. And unfortunately, I'm really not a fan. Um, I do like that color. Again, kind of like a darker nude, almost like almost with like a little brown red to it. Um, it's really pretty, but I don't like the formula. It's just, it's a little bit too satiny for me. I feel like it moves around just too much. And I just don't like wearing this because I feel like it ends up all over my face, which is not great. Really nice packaging on this too, but you know, I could definitely pass this on to someone who's gonna get a lot more use out of it. I have one here from Christian Odette, and this was the collaboration with my friend Mel Thompson, and this one is in the shade Beauty. It's a really pale nude, um, almost kind of like, I wanna say like maybe a little bit of like a brown nude. It is really beautiful. Actually with the Smooches lip liner, I think that's really pretty. Again, it's a little bit more satiny for my like particular taste, but I still like it. I still like to rock it um, because I think Mel did such a good job at the collection. So definitely keeping that one. And the packaging is like luxurious. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less from Mel. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, I've kept already, I've kept more than I thought I was going to. So I'm looking at my collection like, oh my goodness, Samantha, what are we doing here? Okay, you know what? I have this one from Bite Beauty and it's just this little mini guy and I've been keeping it around because I have this weird thing of like really wanting to finish it off, but it is broken. Like, I think it was in one of my last declutters when I swatched it. I had it up too high and I broke it and it is it honestly is really, really hard to wear. I've tried so many times to like make magic happen with this and I just can't do it. And I was thinking about keeping it, but it is so hard to wear. I really can't even put it directly on my lips. Um, I kind of just use my finger and put it on or, oh, see, there we go. Like it's time, Samantha, what are we doing? Why do you can like, but look at that shade. It's so beautiful. It is, but obviously I know that I have a lot of nudes and I just need to say goodbye because it's doing nothing but causing a mess every single time that I open it. So I'm finally going to say goodbye to the one from Bite Beauty. That's a really big deal for me. I see this one here from NARS and this is one of the uh, Audacious Lipsticks and this is in the shade Anna. This is one of those like old school, like holy grail shades that everybody talked about on YouTube, but it is a beautiful mauve. Like, look how gorgeous that is. Um, a lot of people have loved on this shade. A lot of people have tried to find dupes for this shade. Maybe that one from, that was the Revlon one in, uh, what was that shade name? It had the word mauve in it too. Audacious mauve. That, that looks like a little bit similar, but you know, to be honest, I really don't wear this shade very much from NARS. And I, even though it's just like a little mini, again, this came in like a, um, like a lip set. I feel like I could pass it on to someone. Do it. I'm going to do it. I didn't think I was going to, but again, it's just, I really don't wear it a lot. So it's going to, it's okay for me to put it in my pass pile. Yes, it is. All right. I think the last single that I have, this one is from Huda Beauty. This is one of the Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Joyride. This is currently in my Shop My Stash bag, and I love this shade. I think that it is so beautiful, um, like a darker brown nude. 
look how fun that is. I'm kind of looking over my hand like is anything super similar? Um, kind of almost a little bit similar to the two. This one is the Too Faced, um, the Better Than Sex. I think this one is a little bit more brown. This is the one that's the closest, but also trending from CoverGirl. Like all three are really in that same family and I'm keeping all three. So I mean, that tells you something about myself. But yeah, I really like this one. Really like the formula. Again, I like more of that matte lip look and I think this one's really beautiful. So I'm gonna keep that one from Huda Beauty. Let's keep it moving. Okay, I see these two here are from Sam Marcel. This is a brand I've mentioned in a few of my other declutters that I just don't really hear much about them anymore. Like very luxurious packaging on these. That one is Belle, so that's a little bit more of a cool toned pink. Not really a shade I wear very often. And then the other one that I have is Angeline. And this one is more of like a pink nude. But I think that I can go ahead and declutter both of these and pass them on um, to someone who would like these a little bit more. Because they're really nice lipsticks. I just don't wear them very much. Okay, uh, let's see. I have two here from Buxom. And these are the Bold Gel Lipsticks. So one is in White Russian. And I really, really enjoyed these. I got one in PR and then I went out and bought another shade because I liked them so much. So that is White Russian. And then the other one, this is the one that I bought. This is in Sinful Cinnamon. I don't know what it was, just something about this formula I was such a fan of. I liked, I think this was right around the time that I was discovering that I liked matte lips, but not just liquid lips, that you could find really nice formulas um, with bullet matte lips too. And, uh, but I really haven't reached for these very often. Part of me that kind of wants to keep a one just to have the formula around, but I don't know if that makes the most sense because I really, sometimes I do it and it's kind of more of like a YouTube thing if I need it for reference or swatches or anything like that, but I just really don't reach for these very often. So I think I'm okay to go ahead and actually declutter both of them. They're really pretty. I like the formula, I'd recommend it, but I'm trying to do a good job, I'm trying to do a good job, okay? All right, next up I have these two from Tarte. Uh, these are the Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. A lot of people really um, were loving these when they first released. So this one is in Rum Punch. This came in another of these Sephora favorite sets. I clearly enjoy it so much. Like, look how little is left. There is a swatch of Rum Punch. Beautiful nude. Such a fan. I want to keep this one. I want to try to go through it because I feel like I'd be really proud of myself. And then the other one that I have here is Salt Life. And this one is more of a mauve. Dang, that's a really beautiful shade too. Hmm. Hmm. I do actually really like this formula from Tarte. <sighs> this is tough. I know I'm keeping Rum Punch for sure, but I'm like, should I keep the other one? You know, I, I don't reach for these super often. I think the packaging is really, really cool on them. And even though I only have a tiny bit left of Rum Punch, honestly, it's probably going to take me 18 years to finish that up because that's who I am. So I'm just going to keep the mini and then declutter the full size. And again, I can liquid or not liquid lips. Liquid lips are harder to pass on because it's you can't disinfect them. Whereas with regular lips, you can. So I know that I can pass that one on. So I feel like that's the right thing to do. Yes. All right. Next up, I actually have two from Burberry because I am so fancy. One is actually, I think this is supposed to be more of like a lip liner. It's called the lip contour, the lip color contour. And this is in medium, but honestly, I've always just worn it as a lipstick. It's a really pretty shade, kind of that darker nude. This one is their long lasting lip color. This is in the shade Nude, I think. So look at that. Really cool. Very fancy. That is also a very pretty shade. Ooh. 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 Okay. Kind of only want to keep one because I really don't reach into either one super often. That one's kind of similar to the Rum Punch from Tarte, except that the Tarte is a little bit more of that satin. And then the Burberry is a little bit more of matte. Again, I think I'm just going to keep this mini and then declutter the full-size lip contour from Burberry. Yeah. 
I feel good about that. And I have these little minis from Marc Jacobs. I believe I got these both in lip sets also. I used to buy the Sephora lip favorites like all of the time. Um, one of my favorite shades is in Slow Burn. It's so pretty. That one is a really pretty mauve. So actually, you know what I want to do? I want to swatch some against each other. Bear with me for a second. I wanted to swatch some of the ones that I thought were a little bit more mauve next to each other. So at the top by my wrist is the NARS Anna. Next one is the Revlon, the Audacious Mauve. Then we have the Becca Mauve, which is the least mauve out of the bunch. And then we have the one from Tarte, and that was Salt Life. And then lastly, that one from Marc Jacobs in Slow Burn. So I still feel like the NARS Anna and the Revlon are really close to each other, but then I would say the Marc Jacobs, that one is really close to the those two so if you like these kind of colors um maybe that will help you out a little bit but I just felt like maybe there would be some similarities so I just thought I would take a second to swatch those um but moving on to the Marc Jacobs um I really do like slow burn I know that I want to keep that one the other one that I have this one is kiss kiss bang bang in the Lamarck lip creme and this one is more of a kind of like brighter pink. Honestly, don't wear this shade as much as I do more of the mauve. So even though it's just like a cute little mini, I am going to declutter Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and keep a slow burn. Then last of the brands that I have two of, this one is, uh, these are from Pure. These came out in their Barbie collection. So these you... Um, kind of press the bottom there and then pop them up. I will say that I really liked the packaging on these and they have the glitter on the side too, but not on the actual lip product. So this first shade here is in classic, which is, you know, a really beautiful nude. The other one, this is in the shade timeless. I think out of these two, classic is the one that I would wear the most. So I am going to keep classic and declutter timeless. I have the collection with Carly Bible and Il Maquillage. So these are the matte lips that she released. So we have a nude, a pink, and a red. There's also lip liners and the lip glosses. I have kept everything in this collection. I think it was really well done. And also Carly Bible is one of my favorites. So I do want to keep all three of these also. But the nude, that one is Libra. The pink is Sirius. And then the red is in Venus. And these lipsticks are just, I, I just think that they are so cool and I like that they are more of a matte lip. So I'm going to be keeping those three. Okay, I also have these from Milk Makeup. These are their lip colors and I'm super disappointed that I didn't like this formula more because I really liked the original lip colors from Milk Makeup. Oh wait, actually this one is from Oma Beauty. Ah, I always mix up their packaging. I've always put Oma in with my milk because honestly they look exactly the same. Okay, this one from Oma Beauty. This is in the shade Maya. I think this is called like their badass lipstick um, is the name of it. I bought this from Ulta and that is a really nice nude shade. So I'm going to go ahead uh, it's not like too mauve, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one from Oma Beauty. It is my only lip product that I have from them. And then the other three that I have, these ones are from Milk Makeup. The lip color in cream was just one of my favorite lipsticks for so long. So when these came out, I did get them sent to me from Milk, which is why I have multiples of them. This pale nude is in Skills, but the formula is not the same. And to me, these are ones that just feel a little bit more slippery, which is not my favorite. So I was very bummed out about that. That one there is Wifey. And then the last one that I have, this one is in Deuce. And so that's the last one from Milk Makeup. So I was very sad that I didn't love this formula more, to be honest. So I think I'm going to declutter Wifey and uh, Deuces. Is that a correct term? And I'm going to keep around skills for a little bit longer. Again, I'm going to do that thing where I keep one of a formula. Move over to my ones from Pat McGrath. I have three little minis that came in a trio and then a full size. I did purchase the full size in Christy, mostly just because I wanted to try the Pat McGrath lipsticks and I thought Christy looked like such a beautiful shade. Um, it definitely looked different online. Online it looked just like a straight, like 
more of like a brown nude I guess I'll say and this one is definitely more pink like it's still pretty and I still like it but I was like it just wasn't the shade that I was expecting and for the trio we have 1995 flesh three and then that one is Omi Ami so that is the trio right there and then the full size of Christy I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep all of them I think flesh three is kind of dark for me I don't usually wear a shade that is that dark but I think that the lips are more matte also just because that's what I like so the only one that I'd really think about decluttering is the flesh three and yeah i'm gonna do it because i because it's i can do it this one in a flush three that is going to be the one that i declutter and then i'll keep the other ones i feel like two minis and a full size from pat mcgrath that's pretty solid so that is what i am going to keep all right and then we just have some of my larger collections left which is mac don't mind my foot because it fell asleep so i had to stretch it out <laughs> um don't mind my leg i guess mac charlotte tilbury color pop and urban decay next up i'm gonna work on my collection from urban decay so a bunch of these here are the comfort matte lips and then i also have a few others one was from their um their like travel themed collection uh born to run and then two are from the Kristen leanne collaboration to do the swatches on my hand here so we have stark naked this has been a favorite shade of mine for a long time back talk which is more of a mauve so I did add it to the mauve counter down here I know a lot of people said um, back talk and Anna were dupes for each other but you can see that Anna is a little bit darker than uh, the back talk which is kind of more of that pinky mauve um so we have back talk and then we have trip and we have 1993 this one is 66 from the travel collection these last two are the collab with Kristen leanne we have a bun bun and then spellbound so i am a big fan of the urban decay lipsticks i've recommended them for a long time i have gotten a lot in pr but i've kept a lot around because i really do like this formula so uh, i will say i am going to declutter the two from Kristen leanne spellbound the darker purple i really don't wear that very often bun bun is definitely pretty but um like it's a pretty nude but i can surely pass that along because i do want to keep stark naked um more of the lighter nude so i'm going to keep that one i know that i want to keep a back talk also uh, i really do like that mauve and i have decluttered a lot of my mauves the only one that i've kept so far has been that mark jacobs so i want to keep that one also and then the 1993 and the trip you know trip is just a shade that i think i can declutter also then we have that 1993 which is more of the brown nude it's such a cool shade i'm kind of stuck on this one right now and then we have 66 which i really like 66 also and i love this packaging like travel fanatic in me loves this so much so i want to keep that one so then we just have the 1993 that i can't decide on Urgh. like i've kind of kept a lot and I'm, I'm gonna declutter this one. I know I don't go into my Urban Decay lips as much, so to keep three of them, I still feel like that is kind of a lot, but I, something about these shades I just don't wanna part with yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these three from Urban Decay. So I'm gonna do my ones from MAC Cosmetics. Okay, <laughs> alrighty then. Shades that I definitely love a lot. Um, this one here is in Honey Love. I have worn Honey Love a whole bunch a shade that i just continue to love it is more of the matte formula from mac and then this one here is velvet teddy i'm just a, such a fan of these also i know i still have my age sex location you know go ahead and hit the like button if you remember how much i have talked about age sex location this was a collaboration with Nicki minaj more of that cool toned nude thought it was such an awesome shade i lost it for a while and it was like it was not okay it was not okay also from my lip gloss declutter if you remember me saying that i couldn't find my fussy gloss from fenty i found it it was with my pure barbie lipsticks 
why I have no idea, but I found it. Okay, and then also another one that I have just loved from MAC. This is in Stripped. This is a really, really pale lipstick, but I like it because it can be one that I just put in the center of my lips. It can be one that I pair with a really dark lip liner. I can wear um, a lip liner, this, and then like a cool gloss over it. I, I don't keep a lot like this in my collection because I don't wear them on their own, but it's one of those lipsticks that I can just mix and match with so many other lip products, and it looks so good. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so hard. Okay, and then another shade that I love, this is in Whirl. So last week I talked about the Whirl lip liner and how much I enjoyed it. So Whirl is definitely quite a bit darker. Still a nice shade. I haven't decided what I'm keeping yet. I'm just doing the swatches of everything. This is a Powder Kiss lipstick, and this is in Devoted to Chili. A lot of people really liked this formula. I didn't. I like the matte lips more. It has that powdery feel to it, but then it looks more matte. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't really a big fan. And then I think this is the last one. This is in Nutmegged, and this was a part of a holiday collection, a little mini here. And this one is a nude. This one does have almost like a little bit of an orange undertone to it. So I know I'm going to go ahead and declutter this mini because anything with a little bit of orange to it is not my favorite. I don't think that's very flattering on me. So I know I'm going to declutter that one. I know that I'm going to keep Honey Love and Velvet Teddy. And Age Sex Location, definitely still going to keep this one. I am going to declutter the Powder Kiss, the Devoted to Chili, just not really a fan. I think I was just keeping around that formula for a while, but it, I just I don't feel like I have to do that anymore. And then we have Stripped and Whirl. So I'm going to keep Stripped because like I said, it's just, I don't know, it's just one of those that I just gotta do it. And then I'm actually going to declutter Whirl. It's just such a dark lipstick and I just, I don't wear it as much. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. Keeping four and then decluttering three from MAC. I have a bunch here from ColourPop. I have gotten a lot of these in PR. There are a couple that I have bought myself too, but this actually isn't my like favorite, favorite formula. This, this, is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I also, I do really like the MAC ones too, um, but I, I'm going to go ahead. I want to swatch these and just see what I'm thinking because this is definitely too many and I know for a formula that I don't love, like I can definitely do some decluttering here. So this is Electric Feel. This is one of the first um, lips that I got from ColourPop. I believe I bought this one myself. That's a nice nude. Again, I'm just going to kind of go through and swatch things. This one is Appy. I think I bought this one too off of a recommendation. So that one's more of a brown nude. We have CA Love. A little bit of a darker nude there. Okay. This one here is in Tea Time Y2K. That's a fun shade. This is in Still Crazy. So I added that one. I don't really know why I decided to like swatch all my mobs together, but it's just kind of interesting. So that one is Still Crazy to a bit more of a nude. That one is Spring Roll. Love that name. Hey Mr. DJ, but we had a bit of a catastrophe with that one, so um, not great there, but that one is Hey Mr. DJ. We have Your Thriving and Mesmerize. So those are all of my ColourPop lips. Swatched Electric Feel and Appy. I really do like those shades, so I think I'm going to keep those. We have CA Love, Tea Time, and Y2K. Not favorites, so I'm going to declutter those three. Crazy and Spring Roll. I'm going to keep these two. Still Crazy is one of my newer ones. I believe this one came in Amanda's collection, Makeup Just for Fun, that she did. And I do really like the shade of Spring Roll. And then lastly, for these three, none of the colors really called out to me a ton. So it's that one and then these two here. And with not being a favorite formula and I'm still keeping four, I'm going to declutter them. So six ColourPop lips are being decluttered and I am going to keep four. Next up we have my lips from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick formula. The lip liners are fantastic, but I also really enjoy these lipsticks. So um, these are some of the ones that I have out of the boxes. I have a bunch in these boxes here too from the Hot Lips 2 collection, but this one is in the Hot Lips 2. This is in JK Magic. I love the packaging. I love just like the regular gold packaging too. Um, so I did do the swatches here on my hand. So we have JK Magic, then Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk 2, Pillow Talk 3, and then Very Victoria. Love these. JK Magic is my favorite from the Hot Lips 2 collection. Just 
awesome. Pillow Talk, definitely a very classic shade. The two and three just came out recently in the new like expanded Pillow Talk collection that I did get sent to me and I was just like thrilled about it. And then Very Victoria, I bought this one a while ago and love it. Fun story, when I first bought my first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, it was Kim K or Kim KW and I didn't like it. And I truly thought, I was like, well, I'm not going to purchase another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, even though people raved about them. And now I'm so glad that I did. I really like the Matte Revolution formula. That's my favorite. That's what Very Victoria is. The Pillow Talk. Um, the Kissing formula isn't as much of my favorite, which is like what JK Magic is, um, because that one is more of a satin, and I just prefer more of a matte. But even though these are more satin, they don't move around. Like what I mentioned with the Becca Cosmetics formula, I feel like it moves around too much. The ones from Charlotte Tilbury, I don't think do. Um, I love all of these shades that I'm showing here. Even some of the darker ones. Like I love this. But I I love this formula. Okay. So um, yes, all of these going into the keep pile. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then these are the rest in the Hot Lips 2 collection. Now I did get this. It sent to me from Charlotte Tilbury. I do have a whole video swatching every single lipstick on my lips. It went up a while ago, but it's it's actually one of the like top performing videos on my channel. I can link it down below if you want to see them all, um, see what they all look like on me. If there's any that you want to purchase, the packaging on these are phenomenal. I don't always keep around my boxes and such, but these are bomb. I have them all stored together in one spot. I just keep JK Magic out because that's the one that I do wear the most, but I like I am such a fan of these. So um, I know that we're getting to the end here and uh, my camera battery is going to die and all of that, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and link that video because again I do swatches and then I also swatch everything on my lips and hopefully that can be helpful. But honestly, like I just I know that I'm keeping all of these and I know some people might get mad at that. I honestly don't care. <laughs> like, I I love these. I love looking at them. I have them in a drawer in my vanity. Every time I open up the vanity, I see them. And it brings me so much joy. And, again, I just... I love them. I'm such, like, such a fan of this. So I'm going to be keeping these from Charlotte. That's definitely not going to help my tally any. But, you know... Um, that is what it is. That though, that is where I am wrapping up this declutter. I hope you enjoyed seeing it in the swatches. Let me pull everything out and I will see how I did. So we got the two piles here. So I am going to be keeping 44 and then I am decluttering 29. Actually, not, not that bad considering I am keeping... <laughs> The 10 just here 10 alone from Charlotte Tilbury and then also the other five there's a few things in here that are a little bit newer to me that I wanted to keep around or ones that I have um, you know I have one from a brand that I want to keep around also but I do feel really successful with this one because I know a lot in my declutter pile I'm just not reaching for they're not favorite formulas they're just shades that I don't wear as often so I actually feel pretty good about this one I was a little bit worried but I think it ended up turning out pretty pretty okay. And I'm happy. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I tried to swatch everything. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing kind of like the mauve dupes next to one another. I like to see something because obviously I have a lot of nudes. Um, it kind of probably would have been impossible to be swatching all of them against each other. But if you want to see a video like swatching all of my nude lips next to each other or something like that, you know, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to um, do if there's something that seems really requested or gets a lot of thumbs up or I see coming through a lot. I can definitely put that on my list of film. That is where I am wrapping up this declutter and the whole declutter series. Thank you guys so much for tuning in every week <laughs> to seeing a new category decluttered. I hope that you had fun with it. I definitely did and I'm really glad to you know kind of cut down my collection a bit through doing this series. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye!